Let's visit the compound of St. Peter's Anglican Church in Alausa, Lagos, where we first brought you a story of some loosely hanging electric cables within and around the compound. We went back last week to see what has become of those cables. St. Peter's Anglican Church, Alausa, looking quite safe, unlike when we first visited last quarter. Then, with loosely hanging cables, inhabitants were in danger of electrocution. Look at these cables right now. It's not actually in a good condition. Some of them have peeled up. Some of the cables are naked. But we've been fortunate for some time now. The naked part are not close to the iron sheet. But day by day, it keeps on pulling from this pool. So we never can tell. Anytime soon, some of the naked wires might come close to the iron sheet. And when it rains, that can cause electrocution. So we really, really hope that PHCN or the government can come to our rescue before it gets to such a point and just try and help us fix the electric cables so that we will not have any disaster to record. We have been facing a lot of challenges here. That light on our roof when there is rain rainfall, so it shocks the wall. If the NEPA, the PHCN, PHCN can come and just assist us to move this one. I'm very happy. This prompted the vicar of the church to reach out to eyewitness report for help. They collected this wire is not good at all because they drop it on the top of the roof. And whatever that is really here, as I was told, that the house will be shocking. The people that are living inside the houses there, they have to move out. And also the the church, if you see the children's church there, wherever the service is going on and that is raining, all of them will move to the big church because the place is not okay for the children because of the wire they drop on the top of the roof there. And my, the person I took over from told me that they approached a series of letters to the PACN and also to the police to see what is going on here and to come around and do something. But up to now, I don't think anything has been done. We are still expecting them. Well, the much needed help has come with the response of Ikeja Electricity Distribution Company. The cables on the rooftop by the fence have all been relocated and the residents are glad about it. Before, this fence is very, very dirty. All the wires, every time, any time for all these wires, all this spark, rough, everything. But now, when this new pastor came, he called those Nepal people to come and store new pole. They arrange the wire, paint everything so everything is clear give us another water so everybody can yeah, join. As for the vicar, this is a miracle worth showing appreciation for. When I came here three months ago, when I was transferred to this church, I saw the situation of this place. It was so bad that there's nothing to write at home about it. And uh, even though the way we are working here, the way we are touching the world, we, we, we're going to touch the world like that then. Because if you touch the wall, the thing will be shocking. But with the good work that the Shannon did for us here, because they came around and they, they testified the thing on the TV, they showed the world what is going on here. And after that, the people came to look at it. They came to my office. They told me something that they are going to do it. And they came back again. And uh, even though the letter we wrote them, they reply it, and you can see it. They brought the pole, they brought the wire, they brought everything. They came in team, and they put everything in order. I really, really want to thank the Shannon TV and all of you that you are working there for the good work. Because if not for the Shannon TV, I don't know what we'll be saying here. You can see now that we are safe. Even though my people, they are free inside the cup and now. They are free to touch the world, they are free to sleep. Even though if there's any rain, if there's anything is going on, they are not afraid of anything anymore. So I really give glory to God and I thank the Shannon TV. God will continue to bless you in Jesus' name. What remains is for the residents to ensure they don't return to the days of dangers by ensuring the poles and cables are effectively monitored and protected from vandals.